It's okay. We can do this. Let's go! Scour! Still up? Thy strength is drawn, yet fear and anxiety always trail in such a wish's wake. Since time immemorial, those we call heroes have earned the title through this order. They pursued their wishes and boldly walked a path of virtue. What thou hast awakened is the true spirit of a hero, the power that lies dormant in all of us, the power to reforge the fear of the unknown into curiosity. If thou wouldst change the world by thine own hand, take this newfound power and venture forth. Thy journey shall reveal thy soul's mission. What was that voice? And you! What was that power you used? You had a metal heart, and your whole body was... It was crazy! Ah... Uh, uh. Look, that stroll guy is still alive. I'll be damned. Someone actually survived. That voice. Grius! Oh, thank goodness, you're alive! Gallica, you made it. He's our man on the inside. The one I'm delivering the message to. He's badly hurt. You, boy, lend me your shoulder. We'll need to carry him. The smell of blood will draw out the beasts. Let's not hang about. The lad's out cold, but he'll live. We should be fine if we take a moment's rest here. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes, Grius. Just wish it were under better circumstances. We're both alive, and you can't ask for much better in these parts. Sorry I couldn't join you in the fray.
So, this is our newcomer, eh? How'd this boy manage to command power like that? It's like nothing I've ever seen. Do you know anything about it? I might. For now, the mission comes first. Ah, uh, right. I'd better just get straight to the message. Grius, you have a new mission. Avenge the king. And kill Luis Squeaburn. Well, good. It's about damn time. Those scheming nobles haven't said so publicly, but every soldier knows it was nothing natural that killed the king. Damn that, Luis. Couldn't stop at one royal, could he? Wait, there's more. The prince is getting worse. We're running out of time. Here, look. I brought a treasure from the village. They called it a farsight mirror. You need to see the prince's condition for yourself. His highness won't last much longer. Those thorns are thick enough to claim him. Louise cast the curse. So killing him is the only way to lift it. If we wait any longer, they're just gonna crown a new king. But who's Louise? Is that a real question? About 15 years ago, a child enlisted in the army. But it wasn't his age that had people talking. It was his ruthless military genius. Hero to some, monster to others. Luis Guillaume, a prodigal tactician and a master of magla arts. Some said it was only a matter of time before he made general. The youngest the nations had. Until he attacked the prince. That night, when the prince's quarters were breached, it was no ordinary mage who cast that fatal curse. It was Luis Guillaume himself. But the son's death wasn't enough for him. Now he's got the father's blood on his hands. And if that king-slaying fiend ends up on the throne, we're all doomed. But when we were exploring the royal capital, there were a lot more Luis supporters than I expected. How can they still trust him after all that? Luis is cunning. He left no evidence. Accuse him as you will, or the allegations wouldn't stick. All they could do was send him as far away as possible. A post in the middle of nowhere. Plenty of soldiers never believed the charges in the first place. When they look at him, they see a capable veteran unjustly made into the noble scapegoat. Most think the Royal Army was at its best when he was in charge. And in truth, it's hard to deny. Without him, we'd never have crushed the rebel uprising so quickly. Damn the man. But he's earned his titles. He's mastered the blade, magic, and he's clearly intelligent. To the masses who want change, he seems the savior they need. If even you're that worried about him, then this isn't going to be easy. That's a hell of a mission. And I want in. So that's your game, eh? Pretend to sleep, eavesdrop on the plan. You're a fool to give yourself away. If you want my blood, then let your blade strike true. I'm not going to run. Not from you, and not from a chance to do what's right. Look, Grius, he saved our lives back there. And it sounds like we could use the help. Seems like kind of a waste to kill him. Especially if he's volunteering. <sighs> then answer me this. The boy's all but a stranger to you. Yet you risk your life to save him. Why? I would live, fight, and die a noble, sir. To have done otherwise would betray my title, to say nothing of my heart. Uh, I'm losing my edge. Make me regret this, and I will slay you where you stand. You'll let him help us? Right then. My life and sword are yours. As far as the rest of the world's concerned, you perished in that castle. You'll find the job ahead will be easier for a dead man. Your lives are kept only by the blades in your hands. And you'll raise them at my command. We have to.
Luis will also be at the royal funeral. If we are not back to the capital by then, we lose our chance at his head. But no main roads. That'll mean checkpoints and questions. We are bound for a different route. We'll cut through the abandoned mine up ahead to save us going the long way round. For tonight, see to your wounds. We'll leave at first light. But I'm counting on you. Feels like the mission is finally starting. Let's set up our camp then. Now, we should finally be able to get some rest. This your first deployment, boy. Thank your lucky stars you survived a brush with a human. What the hell was that? It was like no beast I've ever seen. No one truly knows. They're protected by Magla, so even the sharpest steel does little good against them. They're no simple beast. All we do know is with every passing year, more of their kind tear travelers apart. That was why I was first sent undercover here, investigating. And? Did you learn anything? Simmer down, boy. There wasn't a damn thing to be found on those monsters. Ah. <sighs> well, the moon's still low. If you've any other questions, now's the time. to hear about the mission. With numbers like this, a head on assault would be suicide. Quick, covert assassinations are best bet. Kingslayer or no, Luis has a lot of public favor behind him. To the people, he's the only man with the wit and war power to bring down humans. The military seems powerless to stop them, so he plays savior.
man's practically a monster himself. By your age, he was not only a master tactician, but damn near an archmage besides. And the three of us alone are supposed to stop him? We'll just have to blend in with the crowd at the funeral. I won't abide him surviving the ceremony. He will die by my hand. Can't sleep? Guess I'm not surprised after what we just went through. Still, you've got to keep yourself rested to be at your best. I know, I will. I wanted to tell you, though. When the human attacked, I heard a strange voice. It told me my duty would be to guide you. What do you think it meant? I mean, I haven't exactly been much of a guide so far. All I told you was that we had to deliver our message, and that almost got you killed. I never expected it would be this dangerous, and it feels kind of like it's my fault. I don't really mind. That's nice of you to say. Look, I can't fight with you, but as long as you're up against all this scary stuff, I'll try to help however I can. You've got something special, you know. I don't know what it is just yet, but I believe in you. Oh, hey, uh, you know what insomnia is good for? Catching up on reading. If only our lives were anything like the world in your novel. It's just war after war here, with magla arts fueling the flames, but it's a nice fantasy. Enjoy it while you can. Good night. Well, hello. Nice to meet you. I've been waiting. And now you've acquired the most interesting power. You truly are an intriguing one. Fascinating. In the moments where your heart is most gripped by the book, I can reach out to you. My name is Moore, and I am the humble author of the novel you've been reading. You stand now in my study. Quite something, isn't it? A hall of wisdom, purpose built for the research of certain powers. I call it academia. Alas, it's as much a prison as it is a library. His most merciful majesty saw fit to lock me in this place. It has me a bit addled, honestly. I no longer remember where in the kingdom my study actually lies. I never imagined my voice would reach beyond these walls. Until you appeared. And now, by whatever strange forces are afoot, I can speak directly to your mind. So, what would you say to an alliance? What kind of alliance? There must be more you wish to know. For instance, the nature of this fascinating power you've awakened. I believe you have found a way to wield true magic. You need no petty conduit of mortal make. You can even change your appearance using the raw magma within. It is above all a mystic, long-hidden art. Now the stuff of legend. What I have come to call archetypes. Archetypes? A spirit of heroic virtue. A transformative power that manifests only in those who embody the heroes and kings of old in some core aspect. Heroes of antiquity are often depicted as near-mythic figures, 
with forms transcending the mortal. These accounts are no mere allegory, but truth. However, none of my records describe anyone wielding such power as freely as you. Perhaps you are meant for not just proficiency, but mastery. In their truest form, archetypes represent the power of a true hero. One who can drive away calamity and evil in this world, no matter its form. Indulge me this request, and I believe my dream may yet be possible. Together, we can restore the kingdom's ideals. I shall gladly provide you knowledge and assistance to master your newfound power. So what say you? Will you take my hand in friendship? Okay. The bargain is struck then. The scholar in search of utopia. More. Within him dwells the virtue of the seeker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Now let's see what manner of story you 